again and welcome to my channel. Today we have a little project where I've got to build, uh, sorry, I've got to machine a pulley. Uh, it's quite a big one, it's been broken before. Uh, I'll show you in a minute uh, what, uh, what we have. Uh, basically I have to make machine a complete new pulley from a solid billet. Um, <laughs> quite a big job, quite a heavy job. Uh, but I'm sure my lathe here, my, my Colchester lathe, can certainly cope with it. Um, so let's, let me show you the pulley and what we've got to do and, and what the damage was caused before. Okay, see you in the next frame. As you can see, uh, this pulley has uh, had a little bit of wear and tear in the, in the past. As you can see, this is quite a big piece of steel. Uh, it's approximately 260 mil diameter at the moment. I'll be machining it down to about uh, somewhere in the region of about 245, 250. Uh, first of all, once we've once I've uh, cleaned up the face and the edge, uh, taking it down to the diameter, uh, I'll drill a. I'm just drilling a pilot hole. Uh, before I then open this up to a bigger size. Uh, I'm running it fairly slowly. Uh, it's quite a big piece of steel. Can't run it too fast. Um, obviously, it's, uh, if you run it too fast, then obviously it, uh, it's going to vibrate a lot and not gonna, it's not going to cut very well. So now I'm putting a 30mm drill through uh, just to to get a get a start on it, so we can then uh, continue afterwards uh, to start boring it out. So I've speeded this up quite a bit so that uh, it doesn't get too boring, to pun pun the words. But uh, anyway, uh, the smoke coming off of this at the moment was just uh, just some some coolant. Uh, now I just try it to see if the adapter will fit into it. Uh, should be okay. Slide that in and again I had to cut a bit out because it, it got stuck but uh, then it would do because it's quite a neat fit. So anyway, that's fine. It's a good size, good shape now. Uh, now I'm I put it on the put it onto the milling machine on the dividing head so that I can drill and tap three holes uh, around the circumference. These will be used to put some grub screws in just to lock the whole thing onto the adapter. So uh, now I'm putting an eight millimeter or M8 uh, tap through to put the thread in so that uh, we can put the grub screws in. Uh, again, it's Quite a laborious, laborious uh, procedure. <laughs> Not a lot of fun, actually. It's uh, quite boring. Some of this, some of these sort of things, but uh, jobs that have to be done, I'm afraid. So anyway, we're nearly there. Uh, get this finished off and. Uh, and we can mount it onto the adapter and make sure everything lines up correctly. I mounted the adapter onto the dividing head as well on the milling machine so that I could drill the three holes in the same place. I could index the, the uh, dividing head round at uh, different points um, and pretty much any, any degree on the, on the circumference. So oh, there we are, holes tapped, and there are the two parts. I didn't make the adapter, that was bought in. So we we'll just uh, fit that onto the, onto the new pulley that I've made. Uh, the face of the pulley has got, uh, it's got a, a one degree taper uh, on both sides with a land in the middle, basically, of about eight millimeter land being a parallel part. The idea of the uh, taper on, on each side is just to make sure that the belt 
stays in the middle of the pulley when it's running. Uh, we just line up the grub screws and uh, we should be okay. Spin that round and put another grub screw in and there we are. Here we have the completed item. Well, thanks very much for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look out for more videos in the future and uh, well, just enjoy life. Any comments you wish to make, please feel free. Okay, thanks again for watching. Look out for the videos in the future. Bye.